I lost 2,400 souls. We'll live. I got the weapon I wanted. That was kind of the entire... I wasn't expecting the uh, dudes to kill themselves. I wasn't expecting to have any souls. But now I have souls, and I got my scythe. And I'm happy. So let's see. Do I have my slow roll again? Yeah, the scythe gave me the slow roll again. Son of a bitch. Fuck it. We're just gonna have to... We're gonna live with the slow roll. We're gonna equip the short bow and the arrows. There we go. Oh, shit. I might have fat roll now. Nope, not fat roll. It just felt like I was moving extra slow, but I guess not. <laughs> My OP weapon. Hiya! Hiya! Ah, fuck you. My OP weapon does not help me against fire. Oh god, oh god, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Scared of nothing, scared of nothing. Okay, so let's go get this item down here. I don't care about the item down over there. That is a ring of sacrifice. And I remembered that. I I make sure to remember that so I never fucking go over there. Because I never use those. Well, I do use those once. They're worth using when you have to go fight Seath. Seath? The Scaleless? However you pronounce that dude's name. Because, uh... It's a mandatory death. The first time you fight him, it's a mandatory death. Ooh, I got a humanity. How nice. Thanks, Rat. I've never actually been sure how effective... Oh, wow, what? I didn't know that was an attack. What the fuck are you rolling for? Like, I hit... I did hit roll. But, like, five seconds ago? <laughs> so that's not... I mean, this game, by far... Like, they've never really... Okay, so that doesn't have as much range as I wanted it to. Oh my god. Oh, good god. Oh, good god. Please don't hit me. Please leave me alone. I did nothing wrong. Uh, They've never truly fixed it. Like, it exists in Bloodborne. It exists in Demon Souls. It exists in Dark Souls 2. This game hangs on to your inputs for a very significant amount of time for whatever reason I don't know why but it's just like if you hit something and then something prevents that button from coming out it has been it was a constant source of agony for me in my very first playthrough of this and it still happens sometimes and it still gets me fucked over sometimes but now it's kinda like you know I just accept that's how it is versus raging out about it you know it's not worth it's not worth the time to rage out about it but yeah, so that's... It's very weird. I don't know how it works. But sometimes the game just... Hangs on to your shit. And it gives you a button that, like, you know, you wanted... Two seconds ago. But you don't want anymore. And life becomes sad. I should have reversed my Halloween. Oh well. Should I fight, ha should I fight Havel? I feel like I shouldn't fight Havel, but then I also feel like I should. Because that'll be fun, and it'll also give me Havel's ring early. When I don't have any other useful rings to utilize. And it'll get rid of that fat roll. Not the fat, fat roll. This is the fat roll. The other one's the obese roll. What could I possibly do to give myself the obese roll? I don't think I have enough equipment right now. Now we're gonna say hi to the dragon. Hi, dragon. I've still never killed that dude. He's always one-shot me. And so, like... And he doesn't drop anything. He just drops souls. So it's kind of like, this motherfucker's just one-shotting me all goddamn day long. He spits fire that encompasses the entire bridge he's on. So, like, there's no safe space to stand. And if I get hit by that fire, I die. So, you know what? I'm just not gonna fight that dude. And I, just, I never do. I don't fight him. I just leave him to his own damn business. That's actually really strong against these dudes. I th I f I'm glad that worked out like it did. Because that's how I assumed it would. So that run forward attack is really strong. I like it. It makes me sad because the first time I ever, u I ever tried this weapon, I dismissed it so quickly. It's interesting to go back and play this, you know, 
this game or Dark Souls. Well, actually, no, not Dark Souls 2. Did you know I went hella far in Dark Souls 2? I didn't. Like, apparently, I actually played some of New Game Plus. Because, and I don't remember this. But there is a 0% chance anybody else had just picked up that file and played it. But, like, so I just popped it in thinking, eh, you know, maybe maybe I want to play this a little bit. Who knows? Let, let's see what the fuck happens. I gave up after, like, five minutes. But I couldn't remember much about the character that I had, so I was like, let me, let me just load this file. Well, firstly, because the level was hella high. It was, like, level 150 or something like that. And I'm like, I don't remember going above 100. When the hell did that happen? And, um, is there anything else I care about in here? I guess I should grab that. Thank you, Captain. And so I loaded him, like, what the fuck is happening here? I was in New Game Plus at the Dragon Shrine with almost 2 million souls. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, apparently I spent some time here. I don't remember it, but okay. I suppose it's fitting that I gave up at the Dragon Shrine. That place fucking sucks. Got that fat roll. <laughs> I wonder if weight affects my jump. Okay, good, it doesn't. I was gonna say, I may, if like if weight affects that, I may not make this. And that'd be sad, that'd be embarrassing. Act like I know where the fuck I'm going, where to get shit, and then I just fail miserably. I don't know why I ever come this way, actually. Like, I know that gives me a crossbow. I never use the crossbow. I take that back, I used it once. On my faith run, because at the time I didn't have any range attacks when I was in Blight Town and I needed to kill those toxic dart throwing assholes and one of them was on a ledge that you can't access you have to range that dude and at that point in time I had not uh, I had not met the faith requirement for joining the sunlight covenant so I didn't have any range I had zero spells that I could utilize faith sucks I'm just throwing that out there that's actually the only achievement that I still have left to get. I mean, obviously, there's the one for, you know, get all achievements. But aside from that one, the only... Uh, oh, shit, I didn't have any stamina left. Oh, God, I don't have any stamina left again. What's the backstab animation like for this bad boy? Oh. That made perfect sense. 100%. I shoved the flat of a blade straight through somebody's body. Right. If you insist that's how it goes down, that's how it goes down. But yeah, the only achievement I have left is to obtain all miracles. And so that was the point. That's what I, what I was going to do. Because the two achievements I had left before I started that file was uh, discover the way of sunlight covenant and acquire all miracles. So I'm sitting there like, alright, cool. You know, that won't be a problem. Wow, what the fuck? That dude auto-corrected his own damn throw. Fuck this guy. Oh, fuck you. Um. And so I went. I went through. I was just going. You know, I didn't really look anything up. Didn't see how to do anything. I knew where the way of sunlight was. I just there's a you have to have 25 faith in order to be able to discover it. And I had never made a character where I raised the level of faith in any way, shape, or form. Uh. So anyway, I tried to. I tried to just make a faith character, and you don't get. Uh any spells, any offensive spells that do damage until basically you either unlock Rhea, which requires going through the Tomb of Giants, or uh, actually, which requires the Lord Vessel to be able to go through the Tomb of Giants, I believe. I th no, actually, you know what? No, you don't have to do that. Oh my god, fuck that guy. I am halfway dead. That's probably not good. That was kind of dangerous. But yeah, so, well, either way, you have to unlock Rhea in the Tomb of Giants. And then she moves to the Undead Parish, and then you can purchase spells from her. And that she has the first one, which is like Greater Emit Force or something like that. Um, no, it's Wrath of the Gods. But aside from that, your only real potential to get any kind of an offensive miracle before then is to join the Way of the Sunlight. And now I take that back and join the Grave Lord Nido's Covenant. But that's the point why I didn't, why I'm never gonna get that achievement is because there's four miracles locked behind 
having to level up in the Covenant. You have to, you need to get to rank 2 in the Gravelord Covenant to get 2 Miracles. You need to get to rank 2 in whatever Gwendolyn's Covenant is. And then you need to get to rank 2 in the Way of Sunlight to get 2 Miracles. I'm not, I don't have, and all of the, all of the items to obtain all that shit, oh my god, oh my god, I did not dodge when I was supposed to, and it scared the piss out of me. This may take a while. I'm gonna need some bleed, oh my god! Ah! I'm gonna need some bleed damage on this dude if I am going to beat him. What? Like the shockwave of his move actually affected me right there. quite that far. Yeah, that sucks. Maybe if I use the jump attack, okay, I can't, I gotta dodge that. Nope, that didn't fucking work. Do it a little bit more delayed. Haya! That still did damn near nothing. Oh, wow. That must be a powerful attack there. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Problems. <laughs> Woo! It definitely ain't no speedrun now! It's gonna take us the length of a speedrun to kill this motherfucker if I don't get bleed. That's what I'm hoping for, is that I eventually get bleed on this guy. Attack! What? Oh, is that like a parry attempt, I guess? Maybe? Possibly? That's what I would assume. It would help if I had a hell of a lot more stamina. Shit. I can't believe there's like a shockwave which affects me. I don't think I'm gonna get bleed on this guy. I feel like this is just gonna take five days. Ooh, or I'm going to misjudge the spacing and get one shot. Alright, so maybe I should use gold pine resin. Because <laughs> clearly... I am not going to beat, like, that's what I was hoping for, was that I could get Havel with bleed damage, but I don't know. Unfortunately, there's no way to know if you're really inflicting any bleed damage on somebody. On an NPC, at least. Like, it's very easy to inflict bleed on players, and yourself, if you use the Life Hunt Scythe. But, not so much. I should hit both of them here. Yay! I thought I was being smart, attacking twice, and then he blocked it. That made me sad. So let's see, do I have gold pine resin? No, I don't. Excuse me. <coughs> God damn it. Been trying to hold that back for like a minute. <laughs> Didn't work. I failed. I'm a failure. Fuck you in the face. Fuck you in the face. And now fuck me in the face. Hey! Fuck you in the face. Oh, and I got another humanity. That means I'm going to have two humanity once I get here to Havel. Let me actually see. Do I have a better spear? Spear, a better shield. How much st same stability? I mean, fact is, I'm probably like no matter what, I may as well just unequip this. Does does this make me fast? No, it doesn't. Okay, how about how about you? How about now? Am I fast? Yes, excellent. That'll actually help me out significantly more than anything else. And honestly, like I'm not gonna, I'm can't block Havel. That shit is not gonna work out. Oh my god. Oh my god! We're good. I, I wasn't scared. How much damage now? That's actually not that much. Oh yeah, that's like double actually, come to think of it. I was thinking of backstab damage being 45. Come on. Stop making me waste these damn pine resins. Son of a bitch, I hate that. Alright. 
Because I want to try and make it as safe as possible. You mother oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god! <laughs> this is scary. Motherfuck. I think I'm just gonna try to backstab him from now on. How much damage does that do? Nice. Still just not great. Oh, now it wore off. I just kill him like I guess I should just kill him like this, really. Oh dear. That was kinda close. That scared me. And I made up I just fucked up. We're okay. Yeah, maybe I should just do that. Fuck it. Oh god. Please don't. Please no. Oh yeah, that's actually really comparable damage, come to think of it. Like, this is so much safer, but it's doing about the same amount of damage as the jump attack was. Oh, I die! Well, shit. Alright, so I'm not gonna kill this dude now. There's no way in hell I'm killing this motherfucker now.